Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Manager Career Mode, where today we're kicking things off with the Champions League. We have a 5-0 lead in this game, so I am just going to go ahead and quick sim it. I've decided there's no point in me playing in this match. They do end up scoring two goals, but we do go through on the previous leg. Uh, that was our full starting lineup, so now we know simulation really just isn't that that big of an option. Uh, Lookman wish he could have played in that game, um, but he just didn't have the stamina for it. I wasn't going to put him in, especially since I wasn't playing in that game regardless um now we do have oh the england national job you know what it's 2024 so i don't have the i'm gonna reject it i thought about it but i don't want to do international friendlies for for um for two years before i get to 2026 where the next world cup is so we're not going to worry about it there um, I'm going to leave Hidara in here, and I'm actually going to swap our team back around for our starting lineup and bring back in McTominay. Um, just personal preference, really. No, no real thought behind it other than that. But we are going to go with our second team here. We're going up against Mines, currently a 15th place team. Um, and then we do have a game against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, if we go ahead and take a look, uh, the Champions League hasn't been scheduled yet. But because I don't think it's been finished because the next set of games is next week, I believe. Yeah, so there's still the other games to go um, for the other side of the table. But let's go ahead and hop into a game against Mines, see if we can keep the good things going from last episode um, as we do prepare and get ready for the next round of the Champions League. Oh, a little through ball. Diego Almada, first time shot, and he gets the finish. Diego Almada starting to step up in the second half of the season, proving he has a place in the team. I've uh, been a little critical of him this year. Not to say that he's still going to have a job come the next summer here at Leipzig, but um, who knows if I'll even be here in the summer. I might move on to a new challenge if we win the Champions League. He's He's been fun to have in the team, bringing him over from the Salzburg squad. Um, but... You, you can't look past the fact that uh, Clivert has just been an absolute beast for less money. And I, by less money, I mean we didn't have to pay anything for him because he was already here. Ooh, Cherky! What a touch! What a touch from the 76-rated player. What an absolute beast. Beautiful little touch to get it past the defense. Look at this! Look at this! A little unnecessary, maybe, but it works. It absolutely works. What a goal, son! Oh, that's a nice pass. What a little touch, pull, whatever it was from Oscar Dorley. Huge defensive play. Little ball into Lookman. Little ball up to Rafael Lau. Takes the shot. Ooh, misses. Dimitri Payet's retiring. Interesting. Does he play for Mines? Oh, what a shot. Was that Dimitri Payet? Was that Dimitri Payet? No. It was Kwaizan. Kwaizan's still here? In every other career mode I have, I think Kwaizan's already gone. I cannot believe Kwaizan's still here. I'm not gonna lie, I saw the haircut and genuinely thought it was Dimitri Payet because they were just talking about him. I was about to say, why is this guy retiring? But Kwaizan, the absolute beast of a man that he is, gets himself a goal. Little over top through ball. Ah. Oh no, Kwaizan. Ooh, whoa. What a play defensively. Oh my god. Absolutely huge. Oh, Rafael Lau. So well done. Hartman picks up the ball. He came in. He's a striker. He's playing center attacking mid, but he can't get the finish. No. 72 rated. Not high enough to get it past the, the Mines keeper. But we do keep him in the corner for the time being. It is still 2-1. Mines could still come back and win this. The second team has not been playing up to uh, its first half standards, I guess you could say. All right, can Rafael Lau finally break away from this defense and get a shot off his left foot? I mean, he's absolutely exhausted at this point. But Rafael Lau just hasn't been up uh, to the to the fullest of races today. A little tired, looking like it. Uh, maybe just the season-long fatigue getting to him a little bit, as it is with the whole second team, it really feels like. Oh, I wanted a 1-2 there with Hartman. But it does look like as long as we don't concede in the last minute of this game, we should be walking away with a win against Mines. Again, 18th place Mines. Always a decent team, especially when Kwaizan's in the squad. 
Uh, well done from Kwaizan with the absolute curler of a goal to get them at least back into the game in the first half. Uh, we dominated the second half um, and they just weren't really able to get the chances that they wanted there. So we are still top of the league. We're still leading Bayern by six points. You absolutely love to see it. Ikone has officially finished his training. Um, now, Jackal. Do I hear about Jackal? I don't think I do, but let me check. I don't think I care about Jackal. All right, and our schedule is in. We're actually gonna be playing against Atletico Madrid in the next uh, fixture for the Champions League quarterfinals. So, uh, Inter versus Liverpool, Juventus versus City, Barcelona versus Paris, um, Atletico Madrid versus Leipzig are going to be your quarterfinal games. Um, Inter barely beating Arsenal. Uh, Man City handling Roma pretty easily. The same with Barcelona over Dortmund. Again, Dortmund being the team that was in the Champions League final um, last season. The team that beat us in the Champions League final and maybe want to come to the Bundesliga. But just not having that good of a season this year. I'm not sure how many players they overall sold. But we are going to be going up against Borussia Mönchengladbach this game. Very good players in this team like Salisu, Holgate, Blatto, um, Davies, Christensen, Robert Tone. Uh, Thurman up top, just a very, very solid team. So we are going to go in. Um, and for this game, we're going to go with our full starting lineup. So let's see what the boys can do. Scott McTominay finally playing back in the starting squad with the boys in the starting lineup um, over Hadara. So it'll be interesting to see how he does. But let's hop into the game. Let's see what we can do and get a big boy win against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Oh, what a ball. Justin Kleiber just looking for the ball in for one of his teammates. Tried to hold it late. I was looking for a last minute pass, maybe to Renato Sanchez, but it was just never there. Corner opportunity. Keeper's going to come out, though. Get the punch. Renato Sanchez with it. Little rainbow flick, maybe? No, couldn't get his way around the defense. Pavard collects. I will say, and I haven't said it enough in this series, Pavard is one of my favorite players in this team. He is an absolute defensive beast, man. Oh, Renato Sanchez, get that goal. Let's go, baby. But yes, Pavard is one of my favorite players in this. Whenever you don't have to worry about the meta-ness of FIFA, having a player like Pavard is absolutely incredible at right back. I mean, he passes well. He defends incredibly. He's a very strong player. I mean, he doesn't get caught out by a ton of people. Obviously, some of the fastest players in the world, sure. But the way that we play, honestly, it benefits us to have him there. Because as long as he holds that line properly, which he always does, uh, usually those super, super pacey players aren't able to really benefit from it um, unless they're offside. A little ball out to Cliver once again. Ball across the box. Ooh, little poor from Jonathan David. One of the rare opportunities where he misses. Oh, but he doesn't. Oh, no, he didn't come back for the ball fully. Tragic. Oh, what a ball in. Oh, what a save. Pickford. McTominay with the stop as well to end the half. Let's go, baby. Pickford's been nasty this season too, honestly. Absolute beast of a man. Oh, beautiful ball. Jonathan David, can you have a shot and a goal? Makes it 2-0 right after halftime. Let's go, baby. 2-0 up finally against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Looking for that big boy win. Trying to stay on top of the league. Get ready for the Champions League against Atletico Madrid. Let's get it, baby. Oh, what a steal from Nkuku. Once again, Jonathan David on it. Gets the finish again past Davies. Let's get it. 3-0. And this game's looking like a wash already. But we'll stay in for a little bit longer just to make sure that they can't get back into it before we do simulate the rest of it after 4-0. Let's go, baby. Oh, what a through ball. Jonathan David threw on goal again. He makes it 4-0. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be the simulation, as you know. He loves the celebration, man. He lo everybody, All my players love that celebration. So many of them do it. I don't know if it's just weighed heavier in the random celebration thing, but it's insane how many players do it. But we end up getting the win for nil. You absolutely love to see it. Bayern draws to Freiburg, so we're getting a little bit further away in the league um, from Bayern, which you would love to see. But that is where we are going to end it for today. Like I said, next episode. Um, I think it's next episode, right? Yes, next episode we'll be playing against... Atletico Madrid in the Champions League, continuing on with the league, making sure that we win that as well. But we're on into the quarterfinals, and we have big things coming. We're making it back to the final. I can feel it for sure with this Leipzig team. So I'm very excited to continue things forward. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Is it my fault?